Okay. I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah. You can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, maldición. Can't hide anything from you. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, uh, have you tied down the bow? Si. Jake, um... <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still? Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But, as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahuaca village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Okay, I found the tent. Is everything all right? Spacious interior, luxurious cots, not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. That's everything. We're officially settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> Honey, I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? <laughs> Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, huh, but it feels that way.
Looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Hmm. I need to find something dry. Oh, Mia, the fire is burning. Coming, give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. I love you. If I had known where my ambition would lead us, if I knew it would put you in danger, I wouldn't have written a damn book. Yeah, and if everyone had that attitude, there would be no scientific progress whatsoever. Don't blame yourself. There might still be time to reverse the whole thing. And I love you too, Karim. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. Um, they don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Hello? Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? <sighs> you left already? Why didn't you wake me up? You know I hate farewells. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me, that's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't.
exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. Rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. Si. And as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Brave girl. Thanks for the encouragement. Looks like I'm on my own from now on. We can't get in touch so often as long as I remain in the village. Been thinking the same, but didn't want to say it. I really don't want to lose touch. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimens around here. Mia, I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Jasmine, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. It's definitely not good. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? I can't say that I remember. Look for Molineria. It has uh, long leaves without any markings and is surrounded by yellow flowers. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out.
Here I am. All wrapped up nicely. Mm. Does it hurt? Uh, like hell. Aw, pobrecito mío. Imagine I am hugging you now. Mm-hmm. Better? Uh, a bit better. Yes. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Debahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. I told you, I'm optimistic. Jake, please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please, please answer me. Mia, what happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia. What the hell's going on over there? <laughs> 